The function g is given by g of x equals some cubic with an x attached to everything. The function h is given to us by a quadratic. Let k be the function h over g, so kind of upside down. What is the domain? Whenever you're asked to find the domain of a rational function, you're hoping to find places in the denominator that get you a zero. Now, whenever you have a zero in the denominator, things are undefined. I don't care what happens up here. Don't care at all. I only care about what happens in the denominator. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write out that k of x equals h, which is x squared minus, that's supposed to be a squared, minus 2x minus 35. That's going to be over g of x, which is x cubed minus 3x squared minus 18x. Now, you might be thinking, let's factor everything. I can't emphasize enough that when you're trying to find where a rational function is undefined, we don't care at all about the numerator. If we were graphing this and finding holes and stuff like that, or finding y-intercepts or horizontal asymptotes, then that matters. But I don't care if all I'm trying to do is find the domain. So let's factor out an x. That leaves us with x squared minus 3x minus 18. Okay, we still have an I don't care living up in the numerator. In the denominator, I should be able to factor that out a little bit further to two numbers that add up to negative 3 and multiply out to negative 18. Looks like negative 6, positive 3 should do the trick. Now using the zero product property, we are going to find the zeros of the denominator. So we set x equal to zero, and that gives me zero. If x minus six is zero, add six to both sides, and we have a six. And if x plus three is set equal to zero, subtract three, and you get negative three. So our domain is going to be all the x values all the reals, as it says up here, that's the way they want it written out, all the real numbers, but x cannot equal, they want it in order, negative 3, 0, and x cannot equal 6. That gives us c as an answer. Again, if we're being asked to find the domain, the domain is going to be everything except for the numbers that make our function undefined. And the numbers that make our function undefined are numbers that make the denominator zero. And that's that.